This is our first tutorial about working with splines in SolidWorks, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create splines. Let's begin by inserting a sketch on the top plane. Now let's activate the spline tool. It's right over here. I'll drop a few points to end the spline. Right click and choose select. Or you can simply double click. Now I'm going to insert a construction line. Basically, you can use a spline for many different purposes, but where a spline really shines is for type A surfaces where you need smooth transitions along edges, for example, between two different surfaces. Analytic geometry such as curves, lines, arcs, and so on can only share tangency. What's really great about working with splines is that they can share not only tangency at the point of transition, but curvature as well. So this is what enables a smooth transition. We're going to learn more about the curvature types G1, G2, and G0 in the surface modeling course of this SolidWorks library. Let's get back to our spline. Even though we've got a few relations that were inserted automatically between the construction line and the spline, we're still able to move it and manipulate the spline points. We can drag them around the graphic area. You see as I drag the gray handle appears. Let's delete this collinear relation. And then I can freely drag this point as well. The points of a spline can also be dimensioned and defined. For example, I can select these two points and apply a vertical relation. Now let's apply some dimensions using the Smart Dimension tool. I'll just accept the default value. We're also able to dimension the position of points. Okay, 